Hello everybody and welcome to my January 2023 book haul. I have some books to kick us off with, so let's get started. Dane reads. So the first one, this actually came today and I've already started reading it. This is Frank Herbert's Dune, the graphic novel book two, Mwadib, uh, by Brian Herbert, Kevin J. Anderson, Raoul Allen and Patricia Martin. So this is the graphic novel of Dune and it is very good so far. I enjoyed the first edition a lot and the second edition is coming along very nicely so far. And then I also picked these up, also, was this today or yesterday? Either way, I picked these up from the uh, book exchange at my local Tesco. So you donate to charity and you can take a book home. So I picked up uh, Jimmy White's Second Wind, my autobiography. So Jimmy White is uh, the whirlwind, he's a snooker player. And it's just a celebrity autobiography. Um, but I, I'm really into snooker, so I'm keen to see, um, keen to see what his autobiography is like. I imagine it'll just be him doing a lot of cocaine. And then I've got uh, Bonjour Tristesse by Françoise Sagan. Um, I know absolutely nothing about this book or this author. I just know it's a famous one. Um, and, you know, French. I assume it was originally written in French. Um, yes. Well, there's a French thing in it. Yeah, English edition 55. Um, so, yeah, I'll read it. And if I really enjoy it, maybe I will track down the original and read it in French as well. Hello, everybody. I have two books for you. The first one, I got this from a charity shop earlier today. This is A Christmas Carol, the graphic novel by Charles Dickens. So I assume someone's had this over Christmas. Have they drawn that themselves? They've drawn Squidward at the back. Um, but yes, A Christmas Carol um, as a graphic novel. So I'm really excited to get to this. And as I say, I assume somebody has read this over Christmas and then just donated it to the charity shops. And I was more than happy to liberate it because it's very exciting. Um, and then I got Twas the Fright Before Christmas in Bethlehem, an anthology of holiday horrors for charity, edited by Michael J. Evers, Evans and Harrison Graves. Um, and this has stories by authors including uh, Dane Cobain, I don't know if you've heard of him. Um, Villamy Mist, what a great name. D.S. Ullery, I recognise that name. Um, so yeah, very cool indie horror in, uh, in Aid of Christmas and stuff. All righty, folks. Well, I went to the charity shop today because I was walking past it. Uh, I was actually going to go in it with Shay the other the other weekend, but it was a Sunday and so it was closed. Um, so I figured, okay, I'll go in today then, just because as I, as I say, I was going past it and I found a whole stack of books there. So I picked up Henry the Fourth Part Two. Uh, I read Henry the Fourth Part One. So it'll be interesting to read part two, even though I don't know if I necessarily remember what the hell was going on in it. Got a big old introduction. This will keep me going for a while, probably. Um, so I got that. I got The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware, just because I've read most of Ruth Ware's other, uh, other books. Don't particularly like her, but I don't dislike her either. I guess it's just generic thriller kind of stuff, you know? I got The Accident on the A35 by Graham McRae Burnett. So I've read two of Burnett's books now and really enjoyed both of them. And um, this one is probably the one I've seen the most about on uh, Booktube. Um, yeah, so it says, we'll regard fans of his bloody project and the disappearance of Adele Badeau. And I've read both of those two. Um, so yeah, looking forward to uh, picking up The Accident on the A35. And then I picked up I Follow You by Peter James. Um, so. I mean, I guess this is just a standalone rather than one of his Roy Grace books. Um, I didn't know that this was, it was even out, so I just saw it in the charity shop and was like, right, I have to get it because I'm slowly but surely reading everything that Peter James ever did. So, pick that up. Alrighty, folks. Well, those are all the books that I got in the month of January. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.